Ikora tells me that Commander... somebody... I don't care, has a plan to attack the so-called Almighty. A plan unsupported by any data. However, there are remnants of an old interplanetary defense network here. We shall use it to assess the Almighty's capabilities. Then, we will tell Zavala precisely why his plan is wrong. And oh, I will relish that. Meanwhile, I refuse to squander valuable research opportunities. Therefore, you shall be my assistant. Go. All this talk wastes my time. Yes, yes, go. Excellent cabal. What are they up to now, huh? Let's capture this lander. Capture, destroy. Either way, get it out of here.
all this crashing about, huh? We shot down a ship, and a commander, and we hijacked the lander. That is adequately impressive. You have exceeded my expectations. As we all know, Zavala plans to attack the Almighty. Typical Titan idiocy. I'm sure he thought, Ah, Gaul has a Sun Destroyer. I don't need a plan. I'll simply headbutt it. It's desperation, Asher. Zavala has forgotten he might die his final death. Head toward the heart of the energy mining operation, Guardian. We'll use a war mine. Part of an interplanetary defense network to scan the Almighty. I think we're close, but so are the Taken. Vex, too. Pay them no heed, assistant. You and I can deal with them later. Ikora, we found another drill. This one's big. Really big. Good. That drill pierced an entrance to the war mic vault. The scanner's inside. Gotcha. Let's find the drill controls and get it out of the way.
the power going, but the drill is still in our way. Ha! What a gloriously irritating commitment to safety standards. There has to be a manual override somewhere in that base. that those myopic Red Legion ignorami did not realize they were drilling directly into a war mind vault. Stranger things happen every day. I'm detecting a spike in paracausal energy. Stero neutrino particles have quintupled. He means watch out for the Taken. You should hire a translator, Asher. Find that override. I think we've got the drill going. Good. Return to the drill site and get into the Warmind Vault. I am eager to discredit Vu Vu Zela's plan to attack the Almighty.
So, what's a war mind, exactly? It's a kind of artificial intelligence, designed to defend humanity against the unknown. Whoa, the drill's on. What? Lift it up before it collapses the war mind vault. down to the ball. the Almighty's expected destructive capacity? And he will say, no, Asher, I cannot, because I am a reckless fool. Ignore, Asher. Find the war mind, reconnect it to the network, and we'll handle the rest. Reconnecting to the Warmind network to begin a remote scan. Yes. We can see the connection coming online. Hang on. We've got taken.
scan going? Orly, the Almighty is inextricably bound to the harmonic resonance of the sun's magnetic flux tubes. What? If Savala blows up the Almighty, it'll take the sun with it. It's time I rejoined my fire team. your guardians worthy of the light what is the price of such power and immortality devotion self-sacrifice death death explain devotion inspires bravery bravery inspires sacrifice sacrifice leads to death so, feel free to kill yourself. Devotion. Sacrifice. I was born an outcast. A runt. As is custom with the Cabal, I was cast aside and left for dead. I was taken in by an old scholar himself disgraced who saw in me something redeemable. He raised me, taught me, trained me, and in return, I would become a vehicle for his revenge against an empire that failed him, that failed itself. Rejection, ridicule, torment, it made me stronger. I gave everything to win, not just acceptance, but glory. Beneath my mask, Sticker, is the face of devotion and sacrifice. I will not take the light by force. To do so would be to admit failure, and I never fail. see why I will be chosen. I see now. I see all that you have done. Our operation on the Jovian moon was a success. Once the cage is complete, we will have everything we need to begin the process of extracting the light. Dominus, Everything we've worked for is here, for the taking. All that remains is your word. No, this is not the way, old friend. But it is the way. The only way. Not for me.
So really what you're saying is, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. On the contrary, now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, at least we have each other. Indeed. We all know what needs to be done. The Traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming back. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know, the city wall is kind of like this barn. Plenty of places to slip in unseen, so long as you know how. You sure you're not one of my hunters? <laughs> not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into the city without raising any alarms. My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. Hawthorne, it's one thing for us to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a... A guardian? You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor, guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thingy. If we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain guardian on board. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly right through a Cabal Armada. If it's a Cabal ship you need, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Oh, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. Looking for some trouble? Yes, Cody.